All right, I have a confession to make. Um, as you can see, uh, behind me is my 2006 Corvette Z06. season and yet not even looking and so I thought I'd make one real quick video I've like thought about this long and hard for a long time my boys were telling me you got to make this video so I said all right fine I'll do it so I feel bad because I've been keeping this secret from you guys literally all summer since I've been since I started my channel which I guess now also like August July August whenever I started that Yes, I indeed am the proud owner of a 2006 Corvette Z06. Uh, and I feel bad, man, I really do, because I have actually had this car since last November, since last uh, December. I think it was December 3rd, I went and got this car. Uh, me and my buddy John, we went and got this car. It actually was, uh, owned by a, a police officer in Canada. So he was unfortunately going through a little bit of a rough patch and so he needed to liquidate. And so I ended up getting a fairly decent deal plus with the exchange rate um, in December. Like, it was kind of funny because it was like, if I'd have gone one weekend later, there would have been snow everywhere on the ground. It was barely above freezing. It was like 38 degrees. Uh, it was kind of unseasonably warm in Minnesota so it was like the perfect timing so everything kind of worked out to go get this car and this is a car that I've always wanted since I was a kid and so you know I, I kind of had all my ducks in the row and my original plan was to flip it and basically kind of level up and, and, and eventually get like this perfect car and ultimately my wife was just like you know what you should just keep it you've always wanted this car if it's not what you want get something different but i mean if you really really like this car which i really do just keep it and so that's what i did um but when you have a car that you've been thinking about since you were a kid and since you know you've been dreaming about it it's been a poster on your wall and all that kind of that kind of a thing um sometimes you're like you're not going to be daily driving it yeah it, you know at least for me like I got, you know, you kind of get nervous when you park in crowded parking lots, things like that. So for me, I was kind of like, ah, and that's where the C4 came in. It was like, oh, this is a car I can just 
have a good time with, I can do different things to it, I can experiment with it, I can daily drive it without, you know, worrying too much about uh, whether or not it gets bird poop on it or scratch on it or anything like that, not freaking out. Uh, and this car obviously is quite different. I mean, this car, as most people know, 505 horsepower, 470 pound-feet of torque, seven liter, LS7 V8, you know? So, I mean, this thing definitely, <laughs> you drive the C4 for a long time, you drive it every day, and you're like, oh, this car is not bad, you know, considering that it's, you know, it built in the 90s, this car is actually fairly quick, you know, it's quicker than still a lot of cars today. <laughs> or at least can keep up with them. You get in the Z06 and it's like, holy crap, this car is fast, you know? And I understand now that the C7 is putting out 650 horsepower and you have things like the Hellcat putting out 707 horsepower, but the experience in this car of just romping on it from a standstill still is just thoroughly, 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 thoroughly entertaining. Um, it's something that I, I, I thoroughly enjoy. It puts a smile on my face every single time. And that's the reason why we buy cars like this, you know, it's not, it's not necessarily because, you know, we're trying to one up our friends or one up somebody else that we see on YouTube or somebody, it's just for us. And I think you should always buy a car, whether you're a YouTuber or not, you should always buy a car for you, not for your community or for other people or to impress people that you don't even know really. You should always buy a car because it's the car that you want, you always wanted. And that's really what this car is about. Um, I feel bad, like I said, just now revealing it, and literally it's tomorrow it's gonna snow. But that's kind of the story with this car is, I bought this car for me, you know? I ultimately wanted to flip it, but my goal was to get another one uh, and eventually have uh, enough money not only to pay for the car, but also to have plenty of reserves to do modifications and things like that to it and upgrades. So this particular car, um, it is the, uh, what is it called? The 1LZ package, I think. It literally has like no options. It's got cruise control. That's basically it. Doesn't have um, the navigation and the Bluetooth and all that stuff. It's a 2006 model, so it doesn't have, I think like when the ZR1 came out, you, you could get like the selective ride control and all that kind of stuff. Um, and the carbon, there's the Z06 carbon, which is really expensive. I mean, even there's Z06 carbons that are as much as ZR1s, you know, C6 ZR1, which is like to me, it's like it's, it's, it's still a Z06 at the end of the day. I mean, it's you got the same motor, but anyway, that's just me. Um, so I got a pretty decent deal on this car. I'll probably do another video talking about specifically the purchase process and, and how all that panned out and, and all that, but. Ultimately, like I said, I bought this car for me. Uh, this was the car that I always wanted. Uh, am I a big fan? And let me just say also, I am a Corvette fan. I know that like there's a lot of people on across many communities. You know, there's um, I forgot the name of the. It escapes me what the name of like there's a there's a uh, car blog where you can follow people's builds and things like that. But anyway. I know that there are certain people who are particular to certain Corvette model years. There are some people who hate the C4 with a passion. Some people who love it with, with a passion. There are some people who love the C5, hate the C5, so on and so forth. You know, same thing with the C6. To me, this is my favorite. My favorite version of the of, of the Corvette is actually the C6, specifically the C6 Z06 with the, with the fender flares and things like that. Um, that, to me, this is my, this is my favorite Corvette. I think this car, this body style is timeless. That's my personal opinion. I'm sure many people will disagree with that, and that's okay. And that's what I love about the community. And that's really kind of the, the kind of the message that I want to uh, share with everyone is ultimately what makes the world, not even just the car world, but the world in general so great and so unique in America especially, is the fact that we all have our own opinions. And no one's wrong. It's not wrong. It's just your personal preference. And like I said, and that's why you should buy a car for you. Don't buy it for the community. Don't buy it for, you know, because you think it's the most popular or the most common vehicle to get on YouTube right now. Like, buy a car for you. 
and enjoy it and treat it however you want to treat it. Meaning, if you want it to be a, if you want it to be a project car, let it be a project car. If you want it to be a garage queen, I personally don't see the point of spending a decent amount of money, you know, a considerable amount of money on a car and then it just being a garage queen. But I understand because I definitely will never drive this with the frequency that I drive the C4 and that's kind of how I planned it. But the point is, buying a car for you is what you should do always. That's why we do it, we're enthusiasts. We buy cars because they make us happy. We buy cars because they put smiles on our faces. We buy cars because we actually appreciate the car for what it is. And that, and, and that includes the story behind it, this car from the manufacturer perspective, and also from maybe a previous owner perspective too. And then that's something that's important to me too, is how did the previous owner treat the car? Is there a good story behind this car? Who owned this car? You know, was it someone famous? You know, that's obviously not always the case or seldom is the case. But the idea being that um, there's always a story and that's part of what makes the community so great is why are cars built? Why is anything built? For people. And so if there's no people, then the object itself pretty much has no relevance. So anyway, that's my rant for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see what other kind of videos I come up with before the end of the season with this car, but I thought I'd make this video real quick. Uh, well, I still could. Let me just say that I am a staunch supporter of the C4 community. My C4 is going nowhere. I have by no means traded up or traded in my C4. It is staying in the family. It is staying in the fleet. Uh, and I'm just super, super excited. As a matter of fact, I, let me just say that I'm super, super blessed, super, super thankful to my wife and, and to God and to, to just the community of people that I call my friends that, um, that I can say I'm in a position to where I, I'm able to have multiple sports cars, uh, even though I have a family of five. And I'm just really excited about that. And, and again, going back to my video about why the family car guy well, this is why, you know, I don't know a ton of people like me who are in this situation unless they've got tons of disposable income, really, really wealthy, you know, un unless that's the case for them. I don't know how many people are able to juggle having a, a, a stable of sports cars or just having uh, even one for that matter and having multiple kids and having to have, we do have a minivan, which I'm sure I'll make another video about at some point, but being able to balance all of those things. And so that's really kind of the culmination. I guess this video kind of, you know, finally tells the whole story of this is my whole stable. This is my fleet. This is all I got. Um, this is my, these are my Corvettes. And they make me really happy. Not that a vehicle or a thing can make you happy, but as much as a thing can make you happy, they make me happy. Um, but I'm really, really thankful ultimately for the people, you know, most specifically my wife. And, and in addition to that, my friends that allow me to enjoy these vehicles and um, share them with the world. Because that's really, like I said earlier, is really what I'm about is, is sharing just love and sharing uh, community with people through having, uh, sharing a common love and passion for sports cars, whether you like Corvettes, whether you like Porsches, Ferraris, exotic cars, old school cars, whether you like, you know, Japanese tuner cars, whatever the case may be, we all love cars for whatever reason, you know, even back to my whole thing about the Corvettes, not to go back down that road again, but, you know, I love all the Corvettes, the C3 through the C7, I love them all, you know, um, those are my, the kind of my four model years that I really like the best, but I, I, I love them all, I respect them all for different reasons. Um, my personal preferences to this point are you know, my C4 and my C6, you know, I, those, are the, those are the model years and the body styles that I like the best. Um, I do like the C5, I do like the C7 for various reasons, and I would gladly own either one of those as well, but these just happen to be my personal preference at this time. Um, but again, it's about people, it's about bringing people together, and I'm just so thankful and blessed. Thank you to all the subscribers, to all the people who have viewed the video, um, you know, and viewed my channel, it's still a brand new channel. Um, but I'm going to do my best to bring more great content and 
just keep the videos coming and hopefully you guys, we can all feed off of each other and, and share with each other our builds and, and whatever things we're dealing with uh, and, and make each other better. So until next time, uh, you know what it is. It's the Family Car Guy. You guys have a blessed day. Peace out.